Hey guys, it's Chris Spate with Cheat the Game coming back at you today. We're going to be taking a look again at Devil May Cry 5 and we're going to see if maybe we can get some type of super jump uh, going on. Now, I haven't really had much time to research this as my work schedule has just been so very hectic and I apologize I'm not able to come to the groups as much as uh, I'd like to and everything, you know, answer questions on YouTube. It's just, I, it's just so hard to find time to do anything and I get... Yeah, ton hundreds of questions a day almost and i'm sorry i'm not ignoring anybody i just do not have the time and that's why these groups exist but i want to throw a shout out to a good friend of mine ken mcginnis over at cheats and trainers that's his youtube channel right here uh he does uh trainers for as you can see for facebook games you see wizard of oz slots uh, all kind of uh online games and stuff come over and check it out uh he accepts donations he also sells trainers and he does keep these up to date and he's one of the best around so come over here and subscribe and you can also come chat with him he is in men over at the facebook ctg channel as well and uh if you want to you are always asking me about you know hacking facebook games and stuff like that well this guy is the best at it so uh come over and uh check him out all right but it's his hard work that led to this tutorial if it wasn't for his hard work i wouldn't be able to come out with something this week i apologize but uh thanks to ken uh we are able to do this so come over and subscribe to his channel what i'm going to do is go ahead and bring everything up i'm going to bring the game up cheat engine go ahead and we will get started okay guys i brought everything up and uh what i normally do in a situation like this is i tell you to look up your coordinates that's the first area i always start where i'm doing super jump fly hack anything of that nature or teleport hack you always want to look up your coordinates now i'm not going to do that in this vid because i have done it in vid after vid after vid after vid if you don't know how to look up your coordinates i will hook you up in the upper right hand corner also in the description uh on how to find coordinates uh you'll find it any vid on my channel talking about teleport so and i show you how to look up coordinates i do so in several games but uh i'm not going to do that here i've already looked up coordinates and we're just going to kind of go from there and we're just going to do a little trick and i told you that you know in the last super jump video that uh there's so many different ways that you can try to find this every game is different what may work for one game may not work for another game and that happens to be the case here so we got to kind of find a, uh, a workaround to see if maybe we can get some type of a, a jump higher scenario and uh, that's what we're looking for to jump higher than we normally do so what i'm going to do is go to my coordinates and i've already got the address of where the coordinates are located and as you can see here for you more experienced people uh, normally uh, our coordinates are stored four bytes apart from one another and sometimes it's just going through like one opcode and the XMM registers are carrying all three coordinates however this is not the case this time that XMMO, XMM1, XMM2 is each carrying a different coordinate and you can see here here's our X here's our Y here's our Z RDI RDI plus 4 RDI plus 8 and what we want is the Y coordinate which will be in this particular game will be the up and down so that's what we're looking for so what I want to do is let's find out what addresses this instruction access is also known as a breakpoint on access so whenever something, an address or a value hits it, you can see that it's keeping up with uh, all types of coordinates here. So we want to ascertain which one is ours. So we're just going to jump and see which one changes. And as you can see, it's a negative value on the y-axis. So that means that it's actually increasing because a negative value, when it goes lower actually from a 10 to a, from a negative 10 to a negative 8, a negative 8 is higher than negative 10. <laughs> So if you don't understand the math of that, then there's not much I can do for you. <laughs> but uh, let's go ahead and uh, that this is what we're interested in. And we can easily get our X, Y, and Z from that one coordinate. We know that our X is minus 4, which would be 3, 0. We know this will be our X. It will be a float value. And our Y will be plus 4, which is 8. Or excuse me, that'll be our Z value. So 
So now we have X, Y, and Z coordinates, and you know we can go uh, in there and try to do a teleport hack and all that stuff. We're not doing that this time. And what I always recommend is going to your coordinates in Browse Memory Region. And what we're going to do is here is the address, as you can see right here, holding the value. We want to put it on float and not look at it in byte form. And you can see here's our coordinates. And I say kind of look around the, the structure here, jump up and down and see what you can see. And you can see there's all kind of values. Now normally what I, what I do is I look for something that may be a zero and then go up. And uh, that's the route Ken took to be able to find a, a, a super jump type feature. So, but it is not located near our coordinates. However, it is in the same structure, just way, way on down somewhere. And it would take forever to scroll down to it. So what we're going to do is have to value scan. But we want to limit the search. We know it's going to be in the realm of these coordinate addresses so what we're going to do is we're going to limit cheat engine search uh, to just a few addresses so we don't overload the system so what I'm going to do is we're just going to copy the address and we're going to come over here to the start and we're going to paste that in there and we're going to also paste it in the stop and what we want to do is we just want to take off a few just Make sure you count one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll just say six. And then put zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. And you want to do the same thing down here. Just take off six and go all the way up to the highest hex value, which is F. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we want to search within that address range. That way we're not overloading the system or anything like that. The game, as you can see, is using a lot of CPU memory by itself. So uh, it's really, really, 64-bit games do that. Bear with me one second. Let me go ahead and save what I got. I'll be right back with you. Okay, now if you remember in one of our videos, I believe it was Darksiders 2 or 3. Uh, where we were locating a super jump we located via the uh, collision field ground flag and that's what Ken did and basically when you're standing on the ground when he's just standing on the ground you're at a zero level and it'll jump up and when he jumps up into the air as you see there there's a certain height that he can go to it counts up and there is and it may be a constant value that he cannot go past that certain threshold and basically that's what we're trying to find is you know the zero value up to its height so we're going to use speed hack to help us find that and i'm going to put it on i think about uh point two something like that and we're going to slow the game down a little bit and we know here that we're looking for standing on the ground at zero value but we're going to go ahead and save for the first scan an unknown initial value so when we jump up into the air like that we'll pause the game and we're going to go increased value and as you see we're weeding them down right now and we know that it's not a zero value we can get rid of things like that but when we come back down we want to come all the way back down let him finish his little animation make sure he's completely standing on the ground we're going to go back to it and we're going to go zero float value and we can get rid of changing values by mashing unchanged value the value is not changing he's not jumping and all we're looking for is zeros so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out these uh, these higher values and everything I just want sorry about that let's get him back off his animation okay all right, so we know that it's still comparing to a zero value, so we're still going to hit unchanged. So we're going to do next scan. Unchanged value, and all we want is a zero right now. All we're paying attention is just zeros. So that's good for right now, and 
rinse, wash, and repeat. What we're going to do is jump up in the air, pause the game, increase value. And we're going to come back down the same as we did. And what we want is a zero value. So let him finish his animation. Go to exact value zero. Okay. And you see we got 42 results, which that's a good number. So what we want to do is right now I'm just grabbing all the zeros. And I'm going to add that to the list. And we're going to see if maybe it affects anything. That's all we're doing. We're just looking for any type of effect whatsoever. You notice I'm bypassing all these uh, decimal values. I'm just grabbing the zero values. Okay. And there could be several addresses that it, you know, is affecting him. So we don't know. But right now, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and freeze all those values at zero and just see if there's any type of effect. And there wasn't. Oh, take a look at that. That's what we're looking for. Something like that. And we want to see if we can get down to a few that... Let's go ahead and... Uh, Net scan, see if we can take take out some. Let's go ahead and. Uh, but you see how he just went straight up into the air. So what we want to do is see if we can just get just a few that may be affecting it. So it's just process of elimination, and we're just going to hit on the jump button like we did and see if we can get that effect to happen again. And if it ain't happening, then we know the ones that are frozen ain't controlling it so we can get rid of those and this is a new technique I haven't really shown this technique but this is something that you can try also because there's something always comparing to you being standing on a ground collision field and being up in the air and that's basically the area we're looking around and when we see that jump you know where he just woo like that and you saw that we only froze these addresses here so we don't need these others that we did not freeze let's get rid of those and let's see if we can maybe pinpoint a specific address that'll do this you following along do you, is everybody understand what I'm doing here okay all right so now let's just do about just a few of them and see if we can get the same result and he's jumping way up in the air hanging on and everything so we don't need any of these down here ah oh, crap I think I hit the button let's 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 do that again let me uh I don't think any of these did that let me just try that I'm, I hit a button I don't know what it did let's jump okay it's not doing it now so let's get rid of these and we're just seeing if we can find maybe one address we can work with to help us out here. Alright, so we got those three. He jumps way up, so we don't need these top ones here. Alright. So, we are left with three addresses. We don't need these addresses up here anymore. One of these three can maybe help us out a little bit. So let's just do one at a time and see if we can get that result okay the top one ain't doing it all right let's try the next one that one ain't doing it all right so we're only left with one address let's see if that's doing something Let's pray it wasn't a combination of addresses. Whoa, take a look at that. Up in the air. So we're left with one address. So this definitely has something to do with our ground collision and being up in the air. And it's somehow, some way is controlling it. You can see how far away it is from our actual uh, coordinates. And everything but let's see what's writing to this address let's find out what access is this address and just see everything that's going on with it when we jump and take a look at this 
and we know when we keep writing zero to it we get that effect so what we want to do let's come over here this only writes to it every time we mash the jump button so see and this is writing to it the whole time we're in the air till we're back on the ground then it stops so hmm this is feeding the information to it let's see what it's doing okay because we was on the ground when we first started so it's feeding it zero so here we just got to go play around in the coding and see if it gives us any type of result that we're wanting and it's basically i think it's still dealing with you know like a y coordinate it's x y z but it may be doing like how high you can jump how far you can jump left or right as well so you may want to go manipulate those two i haven't had time to do that but let's see if we can just get up and down right now so let's just do a test script we're going to do an aob injection and we're just going to put this um let's just put this uh j u m uh, app for jump jump height I'm just gonna put jump height or jump height let's do it like that jump height I don't confuse anybody all right and you saw when we fed it zero so what we want X and then 15 to bring uh, to this address is we want it to bring zero all the time and you know I if you looked at my vid on encrypted values, the very first one I did, I explained what XOR does. XOR, if you XOR uh, a number against the same number, it will zero it out. So XORing a register with itself zeroes out that register. So that's what we're going to do. And the correct way to X, uh, XOR an XMM register is XORPS. Okay. XMM15. XMM15 and that will zero it out and it will write zero to this address here that we're studying right now. So let's go ahead and assign that to the current cheat table. Let's go ahead and stop that. And we, we want to put a super, well, no, it's not really a super jump yet, but we're going to put a height test. And that's always going to feed it zero. So we're going to turn that on. And we're just going to... Let me get it back up to full speed. I forgot to do that. That's getting a little annoying. Okay. So if we jump up in the air and take a look at that. But what's annoying about it is you got to kind of like double hit it to make him do that. So he doesn't do it the first time. So that's not really what we're after. So let's go browse memory region let's see if maybe we can find another one that can help us out you might want to test out several addresses you never know what you you want to test out different values all you never know what you might find you might find something you didn't even know you wanted right now i'm looking for a value you see how that's going up and then back to zero but there's also one here doing the exact same thing Let's test that one as well. Let's uh, add that address to the list. And let's zero that out and see what happens. Oh, take a look at that. That did it. I didn't have to mash the jump button twice. If you take a look, if when I zero that out, I have to mash it. I mean, I have to, I have to just, you can hear me just having to tap it over and over and over again. But if I do it to this address, I only have to do it once. Listen, can you hear the tap? Just one time. That seems like a better one. So let's see what's writing to this address and accessing it. All right, we're in different parts of memory. And this looks like when he's up in the air and the one time we hit the jump button. So this is the one we want where it's constantly writing to it as he's in the air. So let's go to this one here and we're going to do the exact same thing. 
that we just did it set we're going to do it to this address instead see if that maybe give us a better result without having to double hit it we're going to go uh, jump height 2 and this is our second attempt see if maybe we can get a better one all right so remember XOR out of register it zeroes it out and it seems that writing zero to these values is what's making us jump so let's go ahead and do that make sure that's a comma not a period there you go so let's assign that to the cheat table and let's rename this we're gonna go height test 2 and that's what game hacking is. It's trial and error, trying different things, testing different things. You could be spending all day on just one little thing. And you could be spending five minutes. You never know. So, you know, don't think that, you know, things are easily come by. I mean, these these cheat tables that you see that these guys over at Fearless and other places come out with, I mean, they put a lot of hours and hard work into it. You need to go thank them for these cheat tables. These weren't easy come by. Some spend months. My pal Lobit, man, he can spend months on one game, and he just comes out with massive cheat tables. It's unbelievable. He's amazing. All right, let's go ahead and... Uh, freeze that one and now we're just going to match it one time and see what that does and take a look at this we're, we're just one hit or just one tap and we're all the way in the air so it is affecting our jump height it's not really sending us out far so we might be able to do something with that later but right now we're just seeing if we can look at this And we jumped all the way up here. It looks like there's a co collision filled up for the ceiling, so it's preventing us from doing anything else. And we probably have to go refine it later. You know, maybe put a specific value in there for a specific height or something. I don't know. I haven't really played much of the game. But as you see, that is a good start for a super jump. And that'll get you started. Now, this is your homework, okay? Instead of me doing the entire super jump hack, I want you to take what I've done and you take it from here. See if you can maybe go affect these other values. Like the RX plus 40, the RX, oh, I'm sorry, excuse me, the RX, the RDI plus 30, the RDI plus 38. See if you can play around with those as well as this to see if maybe... This increases the distance that you jump or, or, or the speed or whatever. Who knows what it does? It may do nothing. I don't know. I didn't try. But I, that's your homework. I want to see if you can make what I've started into a better super jump. You do that. And let me know your results down there in the comments. I will be checking. And I'd like to know how you did. Right quick, I want to thank my partners. These guys keep cheat the game actually running. If it wasn't for these guys, I'd have had to fold up a long time ago. That's the reason I'm having to work so many hours. It's just, you know, it's just hard to find time to make vids. It really is. But, I, you know, I miss you guys, and I want to come out with more stuff. You know, if you can come over and help us out at Patreon, I cannot tell you how much that helps us. And uh, these guys uh, are really keeping cheap the game afloat right now, and I really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much and everything. But that's what I want you to do, and that's your homework. I want you to take it to the next step, and that's what game hack it game hacking is all about or any type of hacking for that matter but game hacking you got to go in there and play around with different things see what you can find you might you may find stuff you didn't even realize you wanted and you got to get in there and dig and dig and play around and trial and error and uh, you'll find a lot of does but then you'll find that diamond in the rough and you just go from there but i want you to take what i've done so far and i want you to take it to the next level okay and I really want to know how you did, uh, what effects you may have come up with. I'd love to hear from you guys, all right? But uh, that's all I got time for this go around. We'll still keep digging in this game, see if we can find other things later. And uh, we'll, just, uh, we'll just take it from there. So until next time, you guys, take care. Keep on hacking. Most importantly, please enjoy yourself. That's really what it's all about. You cheat the game, fellas, because believe me, it doesn't mind cheating you.
you all take care.